Good morning, children. Today we are going to see the chapter number four, introduction to hypertext preprocessor. And we can see various topics, importance of web application and server-side scripting language, the futures of PHP, that is the hypertext preprocessor, the basics of web development process, and web server installation and configuration. Okay, children. Now we enter into the lesson. The first topic is introduction to hypertext preprocessor. So PHP means hypertext preprocessor. So important one mark question, children. Don't get confused. In early days, they are using what PHP means personal home page, and later it was come hypertext preprocessor. So important one mark question. So, internet and web based online applications are performing very important role in business and entertainment industry. First, you need to use PHP. Okay, children. So, it also creates dynamic and interactive web pages in real time web development projects. So, main use this website. You can use a 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 so interactive, interactive, dynamic and interactive. Dynamic means what children? It can be changes. Okay, dynamic means change. Okay, so most of the websites are developed by PHP. Okay, children, have you all understand? So next one is, in earlier 1990s, British scientist Tim Berners-Lee introduced the concept of Internet and World Wide Web (WWW). So important one more question: Who developed the concept of internet? Tim Berners-Lee. Who developed the concept of internet and WWW? Tim Berners-Lee. Important one more question, children. So the concept of required new set of programming languages over the communication, over the network communication. These programming languages are recently called as web scripting languages okay children understand next we move to hypertext preprocessor that is a php so it is a open source server side scripting language it is easily embedded with html other than client side scripting languages like css important one mark question cascading style sheet and JavaScript. The mainly PHP is used to create dynamic and interactive web pages in real time and web development projects. So, see the diagram, children. So, 79.9 percentage of websites are developed by PHP scripting languages. Next another topic, various side, various server side programming languages, global usage statistics. So PHP scripting language can be executed via interpreter. It is used to translate, which is called installed in web servers or CGI. That is the common gateway interface, common gateway interface. So the most of the web servers such as Apache, Tomcat, Microsoft IS, IIS, that is Internet Information Server, supports the PHP interrupter module. What are the most web servers? Important two more question. Apache, Tomcat, Microsoft IIS, that is Internet Information Server. Note down children, it is an important two more question. So next um, we move to client server architecture, client server architecture. So see the diagram children, it will be easily to understand. So above the two servers database server, so under that client is there connected through network. So the evolution of network architecture, various networks related problems are getting resolved by client server architecture model. The client server architecture model introduced the 
application sharing the mechanism between two systems two different system hardware so the network over the network in 1990s internet and emerging the computer network the main objectives of internet implies the application shared by more than one hardware can be either the client machine so now i will explain in tamil children it we can understand easily so for example teacher is a client a teacher is a server and client is a student so student is asking question to the teacher okay so student is asking the question to the teacher that you are requesting to requesting your teacher okay so client is giving a request to server so client is a student and server is a teacher and then after you are asked the question no that question teacher will reply the answer no so teacher is a server and replace the answer to the students that is response okay children next we see the client server architecture model client server architecture model so in the three types are there so one is single tier architecture another one is two tier architecture another one is n multi or three tier architecture okay children have you all understand so see the single tier architecture diagram children so in that client computers and file servers are there so this architecture is used for server accessed by client the client application runs runs inside the server machine itself is called single tier architecture so again i am saying the client application runs inside the server machine inside the server machine itself this is called as single layer interaction okay or single tier architecture so next one two tier architecture so this architecture of the server accessed by client has two layer instructions two layer interactions such as client layer in one tier and another one is server okay children so two layer this is called as two layer architecture so next one is three layer architecture that is three tier architecture okay children so in the, in, see that the uh, diagram see have you all seen the diagram so three tier are there first one is client tier another one is business logic tier another one is database tier okay so this architecture is used for the server accessed by the client more than one layer inter interaction more than one layer interaction so the programmer could decide the count of the business logic layers according to the software requirement that reason this model is known as multi three tier architecture so there are three types of architecture client server architecture model one is single tier another one is two tier another one is three tier or n tier or multi tier so in that single tier architecture the client application runs inside runs inside the server machine itself two tier means it has two layers so one is client tier another one is database tier in three tier means so there has three layers one is client layer next business logic tier another one is database tier have you all understand children thank you